different type of tech, but I mean, let's look at army composition right now. I mean, it's, or army value rather. I mean, 6750 compared to 6850, 3775, 4000. I mean, really pretty much even in terms of investment. And there are two carriers on the way, two more Stargates being pumped out as well. Uh, so, gonna be sending those in for a little bit of extra uh, balance added, basically. Planetary Fortress coming into play. And SCB is going to be making their way up just for sacrificial lambs. He's actually overcommitted to workers. But, I mean, look at the count, 4,800 and 2,000. Yeah, but this is going to mean good. He's going to get a lot more units out. He had a hugely strong army. But take a look at the spending tab. Just tap S and just take a look at the fact that... Um, Deezer has mined more and spent more in every single aspect of the game. That yeah, I mean, and that's mostly upgrades, to be honest. I mean, he's pretty much upgraded everything he's got, whereas, you know, Goody has invested more in units, which, uh, would you know, in long term should make the difference. Uh, car three carriers are going to be out simultaneously here in a short while. Obviously, Protoss level 1 air weapons coming in. Probes now being sacrificed. Wow, so these guys are basically gearing up for one huge battle. They already have money in the bank for any kind of reproducing uh, that they can of their army, but um, this is looking crazy. You can see that uh, Goody hasn't really emphasized his gold base. Is um, He only has two guys in the middle that is gold. Yeah, I mean, but he's got three orbital commands that he can rain down. I mean, look at how many command centers he has in the bottom right. He doesn't even need SCVs at this point. He's basically transferring everything into mules, so he's just going to do a mass mule drop whenever he needs to in order to get stuff done uh, which means that he can pretty much uh, sacrifice every SCV he has as long as those mules have energy yeah he's like just just enough to mine the gas and um, this is gonna be so scary once it starts looks like he does have a clue about the um, about the carriers coming in because he does have Vikings at a starport on the way and well I'd really like to see this game get engaged soon because uh, really we're just kind of turning this into a bronze league game at this point uh, you know, chron not getting the carriers chrono boosted, that's a huge mistake. Uh, you know, you have full, almost full chrono boost on some of these nexuses. Uh, it's just, it's actually pretty bad. Um, I mean, there's a full one on the gold, for example. I mean, there's no excuse why none of this stuff should be chrono boosted out. And there we go, finally it gets, it gets boosted. Yeah, and there's a mothership on the way, on the top, on the left, uh, most base. Winter is very happy to announce that the mothership is coming out. Um, but look at the SCV count is now at 47, 48 probes. Those SC that SCV count could even be lowered if Goody wants to. He's got oh, 7,000. Yeah, I mean, he could easily sacrifice every SCV he has. He has so many orbital commands, it's not even funny. Um, you know, I mean, he's got literally 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 uh, mules mining the, the normal mineral patch. I'm surprised he's not even, he's just not mining this gold out. Um, but overall guys the way this is running i'm pretty much gonna have to take off after this game because i'm way late to where i was supposed to be so i apologize guys if, if goody wins this then i'll, I'll do a replay of the series or something like that to, to make up for it but here we go engagement happening carriers, it. carriers now inbound i appreciate that xander so if nothing else guys we'll just switch over to xander uh here comes the reinforcements and queuing it up Oh yeah, so this is going to be um, interesting, but the carriers haven't been able to really uh, been made use of quite yet. Goody's basically just slowly creeping up, entrenching him into a, as best a spot as he can. But um, push is, does he have enough anti-air? The Viking count is uh, pretty healthy, but they only have the plus one attack from the cells. I mean, question is, can they take out the carriers before the Stalkers, Archons, and um, carriers can take out the Vikings? I mean, uh, look at that. Five carries is a pretty healthy amount. Uh, it's a f lot of inter interceptors go ahead and wreak havoc, but the mothership has now completed. So it's going to go ahead and uh, do what it can. This might catch me off guard, but there, with all of those Vikings, the mothership could get killed quite quickly. Yeah, now nah, guys, I'm leaving after this game, so don't worry about it. I'm not going to like cut you off in the middle of combat here, but here we go. Sea Shanks is going to make a huge difference. Mothership going to cloak in just in time. But uh, Thor's coming into play. He cannot afford to lose his mothership. It's already down to half. There you go. Thor's getting cleaned up like it was a hot knife through butter. And more Thor's. There's the counter scan. Not going to make a lick of difference. Vikings trying to get in here and get them some. But, oh, there goes the mothership. Vikings going to maybe lose out here. Uh, wow. But look at the end of this battle. We are seeing that uh, Goody is on top of the food count. Maxing immediately. Very nice. Producing uh, two Thor's of Viking and some five siege tanks. So he just loves his siege tanks. We are seeing him sieging up. There we ready go. To Finally going to commit to everything. This should be the end of it. I know there's a lot of Vikings out, but uh, I mean, it's many stalkers, and, and the carrier is going to do a good job of cleaning it up here, at least distracting some of the siege tanks. There's the GG, and Goody will take this eventually.